Hello, this is Michael McKinley for somethingmaya.com. For this little demonstration, I just wanted to show Maya 2008's normal map generating abilities and how to do them. And the way a normal map works, it takes a low res mesh and a high res mesh and it creates a normal map between the two. The normal map will use the high res mesh's detail to create a map for the low res mesh that can be used in real time applications such as video games to create the illusion of detail where there is none and thus saving poly counts. Probably a good starting example of how to do that would be something like a brick wall or something along those lines. Let's do an arch, it's probably a good example. So just to create a simple arch, I'm going to go to polygon primitives and create a so a pipe here, pipe primitive. I'm just going to hit, click, click the button once. This will be the beginning point of our arch. I'm just going to rotate this 90 degrees so it's standing upright and scale it up. If I click the uh, scale Y, the green scale Y handle, hold down control, middle click and drag, I'll lock my scale in the Y direction and it'll adjust scale it in the Z and X direction so I can maintain this width but I can scale up in the rest of the width. So you see it doesn't change the width in the Y direction of the object. So let's get about right there. And I'm just going to grab all those faces on the bottom half and delete them because we don't need all that. Let's go back into object mode. Let's bring this in some like that. So this is the beginning of our arch. So let's raise this up. Grab the edges along the bottom like this. And hit the extrude button under edit mesh extrude. And you can see if I go down like this, we're going to go in different directions. And that's not what we want. So undo that. And click this little blue circle here. This blue circle will switch the tool from uh, the current mode to world view mode. And it will go down together like this. By default it's at local mode. Local to its own direction. But if we go to world mode, it will go in the world's direction. So I'm just going to lock that down to the zero axis down here. So we have this kind of raised arch shape. So let's see, let's grab these vertices. I'm going to hold down the V key. You can see my pivot point change from a square to a circle. Hold down V, click on the green arrow and point it up to one of these points and you can see my the vertices I had selected now will snap along the point that I dragged to. So I'm going to grab all these points and repeat that. So it kind of squares the top off. Let's go into our front view here and scale this out. And then we'll grab all these points and point snap a line to the side. Point snap a line to this side. So now I have like a square arch like this. So to create our high res mesh, what we're going to do is actually create individual bricks. For a, vid a normal video game model, you wouldn't want to create individual bricks. It definitely would increase your poly count limits way fast. So for this demonstration, let's just create a cube here and create a simple brick. I'm just going to lengthen this out some. And since we're not worrying about poly counts for the high res mesh, I'm going to go ahead and just bevel this down some lower the offset so it's not quite that beveled. So it's a little bit beveled like that. So that'll be a, a simple brick. And we can just position it so that it's kind of just as if you're laying out bricks on a real wall. Kind of position it like this. Hit Control D to duplicate. And I'll move it over here. And we'll leave some space between them, like out between bricks. And we'll Kind of center this like this. Control D with both of them selected. I can move it up. 
And real bricks, they kind of do like a stair-stepping motion or layout where they kind of do this number. And I'm not going to worry about going off the sides for right now. I'm going to duplicate that one and bring it over here. And grab these three. Or actually, I just grab these two. Duplicate them and bring them up. And again, we're going to leave some space between. And that motion I just made, that's the same height and elevation I want each row of two bricks to be. So after I've duplicated them, if I hit Shift-D, you'll see the next duplicate will, will copy that movement. So hit Shift D again, Shift D, Shift D, Shift D, Shift D, like that. So I can grab these three, Control D to duplicate them, then move them into position, about right there. Then I hit Shift D, and it'll copy that movement all the way up. So let's just do the same and fill up the rest of our surface here. I'm going to grab these five, actually just these four. Control D to duplicate them and move them over here. And kind of adjust their spacing some. Again, I use Shift D there to copy the movement, and we don't want we don't necessarily want all of them to be spaced exactly the same amount of part. Again, it gives it some organicness if like oh somebody actually laid these bricks out so they're not computer perfect you know don't necessarily want them to be exact so not too big a deal if uh, they're not so now we have all these let's just grab all this and duplicate them and go down like that shift D now obviously we don't want these guys we can delete those guys Grab these. Shift D. We can get rid of the extra down here. Okay. So along this opening for the arch, let's get rid of these bricks here. And what we're going to do is we're going to create like a border. So I'm going to grab one of my bricks. I'm going to rotate it this way, 90 degrees. And let's put it down here. Like so. And move this, let's duplicate that one, move it up here. Shift D, Shift D. For these spaces, we'll fill them out with normal bricks, like we did before, like that. So you can kind of see what we're doing here. So for this guy, let's go ahead and grab these, copy them to the other side. You can see we got to adjust it a little bit. Again, I'm not worrying too much about being perfect and keeping everything exactly spaced the same. So this guy needs to be rotated some, but we don't want to rotate this side. So I'm going to grab this over here and pull this out. Kind of cock that one this way. And actually what we could do to make things a little bit easier, 